Hi there, welcome to Two Birds, I'm Fiona. Welcome back if you're joining me again. Today's class is a, another instrument from the Strong Body Calm Mind series of classes. And this program focuses on building strength when you don't already have a dedicated strength training program outside your yoga practice. And we have 35 minutes of yoga conditioning together today. And this class focuses on all the major muscle groups in your body and you might get a little bit warm, perhaps a little bit sweaty and you won't need any props. If you are enjoying the classes and you'd like to support me creating and posting each week, I'm on Patreon. All the details are in the description below. I hope you enjoy. Thanks for joining me. Namaste. And begin your practice in a child's pose, balasana at the back of your mat. Settle your knees a little wider than your hips and lay your torso over your thighs. You can invite your arms to fully relax, your forehead to rest softly to your mat or on your hands. Take the next minute here to rest easy. Invite your shoulders to slump, your jaw to loosen and your belly to soften so your breath can naturally fall into it. You're scanning your body, seeking out any physical tension or gripping and releasing those parts of yourself with an intentional breath out. So you can start your practice from a place of ease calm and clear. And before we flow, know that this is your rest pose. You're welcome to return here anytime during the practice, anytime you need to do less or take rest. And start to extend your arms forward towards straight and we'll begin to warm and open breath and body. On your inhale, as you glide up onto all fours, take a freestyle stroke through your right arm, swimming your right arm back, up, forward to the floor. And then as you exhale, shift back to your child's pose. Left side, inhale, all fours, circle your left arm. And then land back in your child's pose. Keep going, right side. Exploring your own shoulders, range of motion there. And left side. And go one more each side. And then we're all going to meet up on all fours, gliding up, hands set under your shoulders, slowly reach your right leg up and back, flex your foot, and then your left arm forward, spread your fingers, balancing here, gently drawing your hip points toward one another, engaging through your centre to support your low back. Take a breath in, exhale, curl in, touch your left elbow to your right knee. Inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Three more. Pairing your breath with your movement. Arm and leg reach away. And then hand and knee to the back. Come back to your child's pose. Take a full cycle of breath in. Cleansing breath out. And as you're ready, transition into downward facing dog. Anchoring into your hands. Fingers spread wide, all the knuckles pressing into the mat. And then step your feet together, place a generous bend in your knees. Pushing into the hands evenly, inhale, straighten your right leg and then exhale, bend both knees quite deeply, inhale, straighten your left leg. Exhale, re-bend both knees. Go side to side. 
So choose a pace that suits your body, encouraging your heels, calves to lengthen, and same time bringing some warmth into your thighs. So try and bend the knees quite deeply through centre. Relaxing your head, loosening your jaw there. Last view here. And then we're going to come back onto all fours, set the hands under your shoulders there, we'll switch sides. On an inhale, slowly reach your left leg back. And then your right arm forward, swallow your low belly in. On an exhale, curl in, elbow to knee, dome your spine. The inhale, extend. Exhale, curl in. Three more. Reach away, land in your child's pose on your exhale. Take a full cycle of breath in and out. And then return to your downward facing dog. This time we're going to move some warmth into the upper body with some down dog push-ups. And here, try and keep your gaze towards your legs so you can feel all sides of your neck relaxed through this uh, sequence. Make sure your hands are fully planted, keeping even pressure through the knuckles of your fingers. On an exhale, bend your elbows out wide, take a push up just through the upper body and then press back up, two straight arms. So keep going there, aiming the crown of your head toward the floor and finding a pace and depth to each push-up where you can maintain comfort, integrity and your form. Relaxing your jaw as you go. Last few here. Then press to two straight arms downward facing dog. Coming back to a longer breath in, a calm breath out, and take two more here. Next inhale, shift forward to a plank pose, pausing here for a few beats, shoulders over your wrists. Front body strong, so your abdominal core, check in with the legs and then press the centre of your heels straight back. Then see your upper back is slightly higher than your shoulders as you drive down, push the floor away. Take one more breath in. Exhale, knees or no knees, slowly lower all the way to the floor. We'll take the heat out of the wrists. On your inhale, ground your feet, lift just your chest and your hands. Hold there in your back bend and make fists with your hands and roll your wrists. Roll your wrists back the opposite way, keep lifting your chest and then lower yourself down, keep your head low, no pressure in the hands, just lightly on the floor, raise just your legs into Ardha Shalabhasana, half locust. And then we'll seesaw once more between the two. Land your feet, lift your chest, cactus your arms, cobra. Land your hands softly, lower your head, raise your legs, locust. And then take the feet down and press back to a child's pose. Send your buttocks to your heels. Take a few cycles of breath to reset, relax and soften into your low back with the wave of your out breath. And then all fours on your inhale, downward facing dog, just here for a breath, stretch back and then bend the knees, look forward, travel lightly to the top of your mat. Easy forward fold, place your feet, hips width apart, soften your knees, catch opposite elbows with your hands. 
Just breathe some nice calm breath, head hanging loose. And then release your hands to the floor, hang in ragdoll, arms floppy, deeper bend in your knees. And on a long inhale, slowly rise to stand. Circle your arms overhead, press your palms and lower your hands to your heart centre. We'll take a few rounds of sun salute variations, concentrating on our core upper body strength. So heel your big toes to touch, top of the mat, standing tall and even. Next inhale, coming into chair pose, motion your hips down and back, reach your arms by your ears. And then gently easing your shins back in space, the weight into your heels. Sit just a little lower. Take an inhale here. Exhale slow, fly your arms back, palms face up until you feel your upper back engage. Inhale, sweep your arms forward, moving slow. Exhale, send your arms back. Once more, inhale, arms forward. Exhale, arms swim back. On your inhale now, sweep forward, press to stand, straighten your legs, arms overhead, stay upright. Exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze your shoulder blades together, press your inner elbows back. On an inhale, reach your arms overhead, neutralize your spine, gaze up. Exhale, forward fold over your legs. Take a breath in, lengthen your spine forwards. Exhale, step back to plank pose or pause for three breaths. Push down where you meet the mat. On an exhale, lower down halfway, chaturanga, knees or no knees, so prioritise your form over fours. Three breaths. And then soften to your belly, setting up for our locust cobra seesaw. Keep the head low, raise the legs, locust. Then land your feet, lift your chest, cobra, and you can stay on your hands there. Press back, gently, gently through plank, downward facing dog. Settle in pause, make contact with your breath. And one of the benefits of moving slow and holding the postures is that it asks your muscles to fire a little differently. It emphasizes control through your range of motion and it works so slow twitch muscles, which help to build your endurance and your strength in your body. On your exhale now, we'll move into bear pose with a twist. Lower your knees to a hover just a few inches from the floor and step your hands back under your shoulders. Take a breath in and then touch your right knee to your left elbow with an audible exhale and then step back and switch. Left knee, right elbow, continue on. Go side to side. Keep a dome-like shape through your shoulder blades, through the press of your hands. And same time, try and keep the knees quite low to the ground there so your buttocks are not pitching up. Two more each side. Pressing back to downward facing dog. Lengthening through your arms. Press your chest toward your thighs, heavy the heels. Then breathe in, gaze forward, end of your exhale, step or hop to the top of your mat. Lengthen your spine forward on your inhale, fold and release on your exhale. Rise to stand, hands to prayer, centre of your chest. Second round of sun salutes will mix it up. Stepping the toes to touch, top of the mat, next inhale, chair pose, bend your knees deeply, reach your arms. So try and get the feeling you're lifting your sitting bones up toward your pelvis there, staying long through the low back. Take another slow breath in, touch your palms, exhale hands to your heart centre. 
Moving into a twist, breathing in, spread the collarbones. Exhale and twist to your right. And you can do this by hooking the left elbow outside of your right knee or just twist up a little higher, no need to hook. You'll work your abdominal core, rotational muscles a little deeper. Now work your thumbs toward your sternum as you press your right hand down into your left to widen your chest. Deepen your twist. Keep your chair legs, return to centre on your inhale. Exhale, twist your version to your left. And this time your left palm presses into your right hand. See if you've got space to sit just a little lower. Meeting the challenge with a smooth breath, calm gaze, just feeling the warmth building in your legs. Return to chair on your inhale, reach your arms by your ears and then forward fold over your legs. Inhale, open your heart forward. Exhale, step back to plank pose, pausing here, three breaths. Spreading the effort through your body, legs engaged, abs, arms, lower halfway, chaturanga. To your belly. Locust Cobra Seesaw with a wave of your breath. And this time pressing back to a child's pose on your exhale. Take a few resting breaths to settle. And when you can relax your breathing and observe it mindfully at the same time, even when you're challenged, it allows you to short circuit those challenges so you can meet them with less reactivity. Stay calm. And from here we'll move into dolphin pose, setting your forearms shoulder width apart, interlacing all your fingers except for your pinky fingers. Lifting your buttocks up, finding your down dog shape on your forearms. And to feel as light as possible in this posture, aim to press down through your forearms. So you feel that broadening the space of your upper back. And so you're not wearing your shoulders as earrings here. Now walk your feet back and find a spot where you're about halfway between plank and your dolphin shape. And then on an exhale, rock forward a little, tap your right knee, right arm. And step back, switch, left elbow, left knee to your left elbow and step back. Just stay with that sequence. Rock forward and tap, step back, alternating sides. Keep pushing down through your forearms. So you get that equal rebounding energy up your body. You don't feel too top heavy. We've got last two each side. Rest coming up. And as you're ready, knees down, buttocks to your heels, child's pose. Press your palms together ahead of you. Take your prayer hands to the nape of your neck, gently walking your elbows forward. Sensing a light stretch now through the undercarriage of your arms, releasing. Invite your head to rest. Steady your breath. And then take the next few breaths to make your way into downward facing dog. We're going to shift our focus into the legs now. Just take a few moments to pedal and stretch, move and sway in your downward facing dog. Recenter. We're going to move slow on your inhale, raise your right leg up and back, down dog splits. Exhale, transition to high lunge, step your right foot to your hands. Soften both knees, firm your belly as you rise up, reach your arms up by your ears. 
If you feel unsteady at any time during this sequence, just lower your hands to your hips or to pray. Stagger your feet here and aim to keep an awareness around your abdominal core to stabilize as we flow. So you're lifting the front hip points up. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower your arms, bend your left knee toward the floor. Inhale, sweep your arms up, straighten through your left leg. Move between the two. Slow breath, slow movement. So you're building your strength and your stamina. Last two. Coming back to your high lunge, back leg straight and then hinge forward into arrowhead. Reach your arms by your ears. Ground your feet nice and steady. Take a breath in very slowly now. Exhale, cactus your arms, hug your left knee forward, balance. Inhale, step your left foot back, reach your arms forward. Go between the two, moving slow. Try and see the space that you step back to in your mind's eye. So you're cultivating your spatial awareness even though you can't see where your foot goes. And then next time your left foot steps back, hold. And send your arms back alongside your body. Next inhale, step forward into chair pose, reach your arms. And then balance, stand on your left foot, lift your right knee to your chest, hands to prayer. I'm going to take the heat out of your outer right hip there, setting up for standing pigeon pose. Bend your left knee, rest your right ankle to the top of your left thigh. You can use your hands there to assist. And then sit back in one legged chair, half pigeon. Lengthening into your outer right buttocks. Steady your gaze. Find a calm breath. Reversing slowly, return to single leg mountain, right knee to chest. Then two feet to the floor, reach your arms for chair, bend the knees. And forward fold on your exhale. Inhale, open your chest forward. Exhale, flow through your vinyasa. Breath to movement now in your own way. We'll all meet up in downward facing dog. And left side now on your inhale, slowly raise your left leg up and back, down dog splits. Exhale, stepping slowly, high lunge, left foot to your hands, soft knees, firm belly as you rise up, reach your arms by your ears, and then take a moment to tidy your shape up so you steady, perhaps stagger your feet. Breathe in, exhale, lower your arms, bend your right knee toward the floor, inhale, sweep your arms up, right leg toward straight, move between the two, Include your breath as you move. Last two. Return to your high lunge. Next exhale, hinge forward into arrowhead, arms by your ears. Take a breath in. Exhale, cactus your arms, hug your right knee forward. Inhale, step the right toes back, reach your arms forward. Between the two, moving slow. I know it's hot in the outer hip. Just concentrate on your form, slow breathe.
every exhale and abdominal event. Lengthen space on your inhales. Next time your right foot steps back, hold. Send your arms back alongside your body. Next inhale, step forward to chair. Pause for a breath. Steady your posture. And then balance on your right foot now. Bring your left knee to chest, hands to prayer. Setting up for standing pigeon pose, take the heat out of your left glutes, bend your right knee, make a shelf, rest your left ankle, top of your right thigh. Flexing your left foot. Taking a few steady, calm breaths. For more sensation, sitting a little lower. Reversing slowly, return to single leg mountain, left knee to chest, standing tall. Two feet down, chair pose, arms reach. Forward fold on your exhale. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, flowing through your vinyasa. And then take the next five breaths to rest. Either pause in your downward facing dog. Or a child's pose, if that feels best. And then just slowly, slowly making your way onto your belly. As you arrive, reach your arms forward, palms face down, shoulder width apart. And step your legs behind you wide, a little wider than your hips. On your inhale now, raise your arms, chest, legs. And then exhale, cactus your arms, squeeze your legs together. Inhale, arms forward, perhaps connect the palms. Exhale, cactus, arms, legs together. Three more. It's working into our back muscles, glutes and the inner thighs. Reach forward and rest. Turn one cheek to your mat and rest your arms and your legs, however feels best there. And we'll go one more round here, same sequence, arms forward, legs wide, nearly there. Inhale, lift. Exhale, cactus, arms, legs together. Four more, arms reach forward, legs wide. Exhale, cactus arms, legs together. Just go between the two. And then relax, rest an opposite cheek to the man. Release your effort. Let your feet fall wide. And then slowly now pressing back to your child's pose, knees wide. So you can let your chest fall between your thighs. Usher your breath in toward your back ribs. Then gently soften your belly as your breath falls out. Two more here. Then walk your hands back in, ease your way upright. Let your hips spill out to one side. And coming now onto your left side hip, left forearm now for a forearm side plank combo. Last push of effort. And you've, you have a few options here with your legs. So two straight legs, stacked feet to challenge yourself. Alternatively, you could stagger your feet, two straight legs or modify with a bend in your left knee. So lifting now into your forearm side plank, reach your right arm up toward the ceiling, steady your shape, inhale here, exhale lower, just your hips down, inhale lift the hips, exhale thread your right arm under your body, 
Inhale, right arm lifts. Exhale, lower your hips. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, thread under your body. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, thread. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Lift the hips and thread. Last two. Working your side obliques, the upper body. Stay with me. And then gently settle your left hip down. Bend both knees, stagger your legs, come upright into deer pose. And we'll take your right hand to your right ankle, reach the left arm up and over to the right. You get that nice stretch and release through the left side waist. Release, bring all your hands to the floor. We'll move over to your right side, right forearm down. Remember, you can modify here with a bend in your right knee. Lifting up into your side plank, left arm reaching up toward the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale, lower just the hips down. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, wrap the left arm under your body. Breathe in, left arm lifts. Exhale, lower the hips. Inhale, lift the hips. Exhale, thread your arm under. Breathe in. Keep going. Last two. And release as you're ready. Coming upright, bend your knees, stagger your legs. Transition into deer pose. Left hand to your left ankle. Reach your right arm up. Overhead, lengthening into the muscles you've just worked. Well done. And coming upright, shift your legs around in front of you. Moving into our final forward fold, Paschimottanasana. Sitting evenly on your buttocks, upright through the spine. Then back of your legs pressing into your mat. Breathe your arms up by your ears. Find length. Then take the next few breaths to fold forward incrementally. Just following the wave of your breath. And releasing now into your rest pose, Shavasana, laying down. And if you're working to that 35 minute increment, stay with me. If you have a little bit more time, just press stop on me <laughs> so you can rest for a little longer. As you come to rest down, take up the space around you, letting your eyes feel the invitation to rest. Taking our final two minutes here to practice letting go, one of the most important parts of practice. Allowing your nervous system to integrate the strength learnings of your practice, to encourage your mind to calm, and also to release any residual tension that you might be holding on to. And this way you won't carry that with you into your next activity and you'll also let your mind and body know that you needn't be always in a state of doing you can rest let go and I'll be back to guide you back
and drifting your attention slowly back, moving your body gently, wriggling the fingers, the toes. Taking your feet to the floor, bending your knees, rolling out to your right side. Sliding the eyes open, welcoming in the light. Softly easing your way back up to sit. And thanks so much for joining me for this class and for choosing to nourish and strengthen your body and your mind with me. Wishing you a calm, peaceful confidence as you move through the rest of your day. Namaste.